Yo, what is up? It's Jacob, and today I'll be talking about how I hit Conquer in two days for the second time in a row. So yeah, I hit Conquer in two days, both season 14 and season 15, and I'll be giving exact steps and just my strategy of how I hit that. And to sum up my season 15 grind, I hit Ace in 64 games with a 5.58 KD and nearly a 75% win rate. I was number 16 on the leaderboards when I stopped grinding. And before anyone asked, like, why didn't you go for number one? The answer is, of course, hackers. Just too many hackers in my way. And I wasn't going to waste more time going for that. But once again, just this video will just be talking about how I ranked up and some strategies with that. And hopefully it'll help you guys' rank grinds with this upcoming season. So let's get started. Step one, don't die. Dying is bad and it makes you lose points. So, um, yeah, let's think about this from a points perspective. So you die early, you take a minus 40. Well, you just wasted like an hour, an hour and a half of your time. You lost all your points gained from the last two games if they were good. So like you want to avoid this. And like, this is the most important thing. You take this one thing away from this video and you'll see your points instantly going up. The point isn't to like camp the whole game. You still want kills. That's the only way to improve. But for the first 10 minutes, you don't really want to take a fight. And some guys might argue like you're not hot dropping, you're not improving, you're not getting kills. When ranking, you want to first prioritize survival and the kills will come later. So with the strategy we're doing, no matter what, if we lose our first gunfight, we'll take a plus or just a zero. Or like at worst, lose like five points. Which is of course much better than 40 points, you can recover that instantly in your next match. Instead of just losing all your progress. And like if you land even like 1700 meters to a compound, You'll still meet a squad or two, which we don't want that. We don't want any risk of taking a minus 40. So what you do is you land on a car and go drive to a compound where it's just not possible to direct drop to from the plane. And unless someone else is doing the exact same strategy as you, which is unlikely, you won't meet anybody for the first 10 minutes and you're fine. You get all the loot you need. And when you take your first gunfight, you're actually looted up instead of just hoping to like just have good guns in your first fight when hot dropping. And with a strategy, out of the 70 games that I played, only two games did we meet any team in the first circle. And we beat them both times because we got there first because we were just really coordinated on getting our cars and getting there first. And with a strategy, the biggest point loss I took in this whole rank wrench conquer was a minus five and that was from a hacker. And just combined with the tier prop card, you're completely protected during the whole rank round. So that is one of the most important things, just being able to passively gain points, even if you lose your first gunfight. So this next step, we're actually gonna talk about the gunfights themselves, which one of the most important things was this, which is having multiple cars. Each person has their own car. Like take this gunfight, we have a team in the open field to my right and looking at the minimap, they have nowhere to hide. No matter where they are, someone here has an angle on them. No cover actually works which if you were bunched up, they would just hide behind a rock and it'll just be a long range fight. So you see our teammate got knocked out and we'll have a car rotating there as we're all mobile. So these guys don't know where to look. They're getting shot from all sides. And of course it's an easy win. So the danger with this though, is that if you get two guys knocked, then you're in trouble as you're just on your own. So it just requires good teammates, which of course it's just good teammates, easier to win. Everyone knows that. But yeah, there's no point going into it. But yeah, and I guess like the biggest thing is just having good synergy and being close, but also being split enough that your enemy doesn't know where to look. And like, here's an example of that, that our teammate push is getting chased by a full squad in a car. So we're close enough that we're not all getting targeted as just a straight four on four fight, but we can actually support and prevent from getting knocked. And they go around the ridge. So we're quickly to our cars, we pull up and just look at our positions. Like number four is, which is X, he's calling out, oh, they're getting on the hill and he's already covering. We have, we're split apart all on this hill and instantly we, um, well, this is, yeah, th this was a little awkward moment, but we threw 16 nades here, I think. And not one landed, but either way, we're all split on the sill top. We have the ability to rotate individually if we needed to. And once we take an actual fight, we're close enough to support each other, which just as you can see, I knock one here and we have tons of shots along the ridge 
my teammates start taking a few knocks, but we're close enough that it's harder to, for them to get thirsted. And yeah, just continuing the gunfight, our t two teammates are knocked along the ridge. There's one up, they're giving us a good call out so I know exactly where they are. And as he peeks here, I can just quickly laser him as he was going for that thirst. And just keeping that mobility at any time in the game, that's just super important as well, teams will take out your car and if you don't have multiple cars and they take out your only car, well, you're stuck, you're screwed. And with this mobility, like just being able to flank individually, get out of situations, just like cars are one of the most important things. And four is better than one. In this situation, in like they were blowing up our other cars, I still could get in zone without just having to run through an open field. And my teammate, who was to my left, was giving me good support fire, which let us win this gunfight. And this next clip is going to illustrate just what we're trying to avoid by using these cars. So we rotate early, which is super important, which I'll talk about later. And with that, I see a car in the distance and I cut him off before they get in zone. So once I see that the car is outside of zone, I start taking out its tires and eventually just shoot to the point where they're not going to use it. And now they're just stuck in open field and we just take them out as they're coming to zone. And if they had multiple cars, they would still have a car they could get in as a team and get to zone. But instead they're just sitting ducks and we just take them out as they come in. And just with our four car strat, we never really had this situation where we left strand without a car outside of zone. And that goes into my next step where just prioritizing zone and positioning over everything else. It's like even if we were in a long range fight here and something that won't end anytime soon, we'll just go to zone first. Which see, once this zone closes, I see that we're out. And I instantly mark a spot where we're going to, and we just start driving immediately. And with this, we'll just beat anyone going there, and just never really have any zone problems. Just, you don't want to be fighting outside of zone. And while that was an early zone, with the late zones, getting in zone early, that is where you get the most kills. Like in this gunfight, there's a team in open field, we rotate to this compound early, took center zone, so we're mo most likely to get the next zone, which, we're just outside of it. But either way, this team has no car. And with this knock, like they're now in trouble, they only have one minute. This sound will hurt, they'll have to get in. We, ha in general, just have better positioning because we rotated early and we just kept our mobility. And this is the key to getting that 75% win rate. This is how we, we were winning games. We were able to adapt to any zone with our four cars. We never lost our mobility. We took early zones, so we always had better positioning. And just staying together while being apart, just being able to support each other while having flank angles. Like it doesn't matter how good you are if your team doesn't have synergy or if you're just not playing smart. Like you're not gonna rank up if your team doesn't have the same goals and just isn't communicating. So we rotate to zone last second and that was just the team to beat. That was the only full squad left in the game and their knocks die to zone and the rest we just gatekeep. So another thing, this is just a general tip is that's much easier to hit conquer if you rank early. Like I hit ace within the, within the first two days and instantly hit conquer like if you go for conquer now you would need like ace 13 star whatever and that just takes a lot more time it's much easier to get that conquer early season and i guess one thing i forgot to mention about the four car strat is that it's just much harder to target your team when there's just so many people split like we blew that one car from the last clip up instantly because we were all just focused on one target with four cars like people just lose track of where you're like this guy he was completely confused he sees tons of cars going over the ridge can't keep track of them all and then with that like this car he's being pursued and he's just completely confused about where to stop and he just gets completely destroyed so here's another gunfight just where i want to talk about the importance of just like being together like when rotating you want to be split but then when you rush or when you're defending a position you want to be pretty close together with opportunities to rotate as needed. So here we're defending and I'm just chucking nades off the edge. Just throw them off, make them lose their sound, maybe get a lucky knock. And we take the first knock. We're close together that as this guy comes up, there's no way our team is getting thirsted and we're able to support. And like that second guy coming up was confused about which person to shoot. He was shooting at me first. My teammate easily takes him out. And now it's a 1v4 with one of our teammates knocked. So I'm chucking nades to prevent the, the rest from happening and just distract the last guy from really doing anything while I secure a res. And here we made a slight mistake where number one goes and rushes on a 1v1 and gets himself knocked and then quickly thirsted. 
And then with this next component, as I'm pushing up, we have a 1v2, so even if I get knocked, I will not get thirsted. And that's just the importance of synergy, just being able to stay split apart while being able to support each other at the same time. And I guess to close it off, just the way to get conquer is to play smart and don't die. That is the way. If you agree with that advice, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Thank you for watching, and of course, vote.